Я завжди дуже багато уваги приділяв іноземним мовам. Не завжди мені це подобалося, тому що іноді хотілося все кинути і піти пограти в футбол. Але це та інвестиція, яка потім щедро відплачує. І я всіх закликаю вчити іноземні мови, тому що іноземна мова – це ваше особисте вікно у великий світ можливостей. Hi, my name is Olga Minma. I'm a teacher of English. All right. Hello, Dmitro. Hello. Good. My name is Olga, and I will be teaching English. It's lesson number two, and we're talking about art today. It's an excellent topic. Very good. Uh, can I ask you to look at this beautiful collage? Good. What is the first thing you pay attention to? Murals, street art, uh, posters, uh, bricks, beautiful walls for painting, painting and uh, decorations. Oh wow, excellent. This way I have checked your vocabulary, so now I feel more comfortable about what I'm going to teach you. Excellent. Um, for the, our, our audience, I would like to introduce you. Good. So that is the Minister of Foreign Affairs, right? I will write Foreign Affairs for our students, for the audience. Yep. Right. I really like the word foreign. Can we think of the word combinations with the word foreign? Foreign? Foreign student, for example. Good. Foreign guest. Yes. Uh, foreign country. Yes. Foreign adventure. Good. Whatever, yeah. Foreign language. Foreign language, of course. How could I miss that one? Good. Foreign currency? Yep. That's the money. Thank you very much. So we have the Minister of Foreign Affairs as our very special guest today. Right. As I've mentioned before, we're going to talk about art. What's your favorite type of art, Mikko? Uh I love painting, but I also like uh, modern design Good. and uh, especially digital design. I think it creates a lot of opportunities for creative people to explore the borders of art as such. Good. All right. We know that all the art is categorized into few types, which is visual, performing, and applied. Looking at the pictures, can you guess what would be the main types of visual art? Well, the, the painting on the right side mm -hmm. is visual. Good. The ballet is performing. Good. And uh, the beautiful piece of architecture is applied. Right, very good. Uh, on your desk, you already have uh, some other types of art, which I would like you to categorize into these three main. Uh, the students will see it on their board, and you have them just in front of you. Can you please group them into three various groups? Visual, performing and applied. Sure. Good. So painting is visual. Good. Music is performing. Interior design is applied, fashion design uh, is applied, though it's nice to look at fashion as well, so it can be visual to some extent. Good. Woodcrafts is applied, uh, architecture applied, drawing visual, Good. dance performing, theatre and film well, it's performing, but of course it can also be visual to some extent. Great. Singing is performing, sculpture is, uh, uh, is visual, Good. and photography is visual too. Very good, very interesting. Would you like to see the answers that Wikipedia and any other website suggests? Of course. Very good, let's go there. Right. This is how they are categorized. Let's check if you were right about architecture. Architecture went to applied arts yeah. on Wikipedia and also on my table. Very good. What about film and theater? Film and theater is performing arts both on Wikipedia and on my table. 
Yeah. That's great. because I read Wikipedia before I ah, came right. to the class. Right. Good. What about art galleries? How often would you go to the art gallery? Well, that used to be my uh, usual practice uh, before coronavirus, and uh, we all know that galleries were shut down for so temporarily. Uh, but once the pandemic is over, I intend to resume my practice of going uh, to galleries together with my children as well. Very good. All right. Thank you very much. So well done. Well done. I hope everyone is done well. Very good. Uh, we're moving to the next task with you. Right. Could you please identify the pictures with uh, some of the words to your right, such as sculpture, graffiti, digital art? But I would like you to use the synonym to the very phrase that I, me and other teachers don't like, I think. <laughs> right. I have a suggested list for you to use instead of I think. Yeah. Could you read the list, please? Uh, I believe, in my opinion, it seems to me, in my point of view, as far as I'm concerned. Very good. Can I do example number one? I believe uh, picture A is a painting. I believe so too. Very good. Can I ask you to do the rest? Sure. Thank you. In my opinion, picture B is graffiti. It seems to me picture C is uh, photography. Or actually, I do not, I cannot understand what picture C is uh... about. What if you have a look, the suggested six words yeah. and if we know that D is probably... Okay, then I would say that picture C is digital. Digital art, thank you, yeah. yes. Uh, it seems to me that picture D is uh, uh, photography. Excellent. In my point of view, picture E is architecture. Right. As far as I'm concerned, picture F is sculpture. Excellent. Well done. What were the five synonyms to I think? I believe. Good. In my opinion. Good. As far as I'm concerned. Excellent. In my point of view. Yeah. And I would add I guess. As right. To, to Very good. List. Anything else you would like to add? Uh, actually, I, I guess what else is possible? Uh, it seems to me. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well done. Please, everyone, use the variety of uh, words to express your opinion. I think is very boring. Do you agree that I think is very boring? Absolutely. Very good. We are ready to move on to expand our vocabulary on art. Very good. Uh, Metro, you will have the piece of paper with the same task that I have on the board. And your task is, of course, to read the list of the words suggested on the left and to match it with the description. Good. I will provide you with a minute for that. Good. Yes, very good. So, your time starts now. Right. I guess you are ready. I am. Very good. It uh, seems to me. It I seems to ready. you. Very good. Let's check your ideas and compare it with my ideas. Very good. The painter is? A person who paints pictures. Very good. And how would you call a rough and quickly made drawing? A sketch. Very good. What about the masterpiece? Something made with the great skill. Very good. What? piece of art can you, Dmitro, call a masterpiece in your own opinion? Uh, well, there are many of them. Uh, it depends on what do we mean. I like uh, paintings uh, from Renaissance, uh, by Renaissance painters. Uh, I think most of them are masterpieces. Excellent. Very good. Uh, how would you describe the studio? It's a well-lit workroom of a painter or a sculptor. 
Very good. What about the palette? It's a thin board on which a painter lays and mixes colors. Very good. How would we name a person who poses for painters and sculptures? A model. Very good. And I think we haven't covered a brush. A brush is uh, something, uh, it's a thing to paint with. Very good. Well done, my student. Well done. Very good. We're ready to move on now. And some more vocabulary about the art. Very good. Can I ask you to read the list of words? We a have landscape, mm -hmm. a still life, a portrait, a seascape, a battle piece. Very good. What about Marilyn Monroe? It's a portrait. It's a portrait. What about the beautiful sea? It's a, it's a seascape. Seascape. Have you known this or is it something that you are... Actually, seascape is not the word that you would commonly find, uh, but uh, so I would encourage to remember it and demonstrate uh, the knowledge. Very good. Uh, would you like me to fix it into our vocabulary bank? Sure. Very good. Seascape. Very good. What about the black and white picture? Well, that seems to be a battle piece. A battle piece, very good. And what about the fishy picture? It's a still life. It's a still life, very good. And the one in the middle? A landscape. A landscape. Let's check how well you remembered all these words. Well done. Battle piece, landscape, seascape, good. portrait, still life. Very good, you haven't used any help. Yes, very good. I like, I hope everyone can come back to this and remember describing your favorite picture, you can name it. That's very important. Well done. All right. Now, have a look at this photo. How do you think who this person is? Well, I would guess it's a famous British painter whose name is unknown to me. Good. Don't you think this lady could be a friend of mine? She could definitely be a friend of yours. Good. Uh, what about suggesting this lady is a stranger? I just found a picture on the internet of her. This is quite possible too. Very good. You have to choose one. Well, I go for a famous British painter. Oh, oh, oh. This is my best friend. She's British and her name is Dawn. As soon as I told her that I will be teaching English for year 11 and I will be covering the topic of art, she said, I've got perfect news for you. We have a friend in common who will have her birthday soon. Well, actually, she sent me the voice message because um, I couldn't chat when she contacted me. We're going to listen to Dawn's voice message and you will have to answer some of the questions. Good. Good. Let's look at the questions that you will have to answer. That is always a good idea to carefully read the questions you are provided before you do the listening activity. Please, if you have time and you are asked to do it, always do it. Right, so these are the five questions. You don't have the answer to question number five now. You will see it on the next slide after listening. Very good. But I would really like you to read the questions. Can you do it now, please? Sure. Down bought the picture by unknown painter, painter or a famous painter. How much did my friend pay for the painting? 100 British pounds, 80 British pounds. What are the colors at the painting? Bright or pale? Mm -hmm. When is Sarah's birthday party? This weekend or next weekend? What picture did Down Bye. Very good. She's got a very beautiful name, don't you think so? Absolutely. Dawn. 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 Sorry, yeah. Dawn. Yeah, do you remember the very famous film, From Dusk Till Dawn? Till, 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 till yeah. Dawn. Yeah, very good, very good. All right, are we ready to listen? Yeah. Very good. We will listen to my friend's message twice. You remember there were the questions? Uh, kind of. Kind of. We will come back to them. You will see them later. Right, are you ready for the listening? Yes. Let's start. Hi Olga, sorry to miss you, I hope you're well. I just wanted to talk to you about Sarah's birthday present. 
I saw her for a cup of tea last week when we were shopping in town and she mentioned she'd like a new picture for her bedroom. I thought that would be a perfect present for her birthday from you and me. I was in London shopping in Oxford Street today and I went to an art gallery to look at their pictures. They had lots of really nice framed drawings at very reasonable prices. I was trying to find a picture that would match her flat, which is very modern and trendy. Her bedroom is painted in pale green grey and blue. I saw a really lovely abstract painting. I think she will really like it so I bought it for her. I think it will match her bedroom perfectly as it has the same colours as her carpet and curtains. Also it will match the other painting she has in her flat. The painting was done by the famous painter Benedict Davis and I know she really likes his paintings as they're very popular. The painting was originally £100, but the shop had a sale on with 20% discount off everything, so the price was in our budget. You can pay me when I see you at her party next week. The lady in the shop was really helpful and she has beautifully gift wrapped the painting so we can give it to her next Saturday evening. If you remember, please can you buy a birthday card for us both to sign and we can give it to her at the restaurant. I'm really looking forward to seeing you at Sarah's birthday party next week. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Right. When you heard the restaurant, you laughed. Why did you laugh? Well, because I couldn't remember the last question, so I thought maybe the last question was about the restaurant. Right. When you laughed, I thought, because you know, no restaurants are open now. <laughs> it's literally illegal. Yeah. Very good. The very last question, number five, which the students will see on the screen now, was when actually the party was going to be. Okay. Very good. We're going to listen to it one more time, right? And so everyone can really make notes and answer all the questions correctly. Hi Olga, sorry to miss you, I hope you're well. I just wanted to talk to you about Sarah's birthday present. I saw her for a cup of tea last week when we were shopping in town and she mentioned she'd like a new picture for her bedroom. I thought that would be a perfect present for her birthday from you and me. I was in London shopping in Oxford Street today and I went to an art gallery to look at their pictures. They had lots of really nice framed drawings at very reasonable prices. I was trying to find a picture that would match her flat, which is very modern and trendy. Her bedroom is painted in pale green, grey and blue. I saw a really lovely abstract painting. I think she will really like it, so I bought it for her. I think it will match her bedroom perfectly as it has the same colours as her carpet and curtains. Also, it will match the other painting she has in her flat. The painting was done by the famous painter Benedict Davis and I know she really likes his paintings as they're very popular. The painting was originally £100 but the shop had a sale on with 20% discount off everything so the price was in our budget. You can pay me when I see you at her party next week. The lady in the shop was really helpful and she has beautifully gift wrapped the painting so we can give it to her next Saturday evening. If you remember, please can you buy a birthday card for us both to sign and we can give it to her at the restaurant. I'm really looking forward to seeing you at Sarah's birthday party next week. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Very good. Let's look at the questions and answer them. Right, so now we know that this is... Your friend. And her name is... Dawn. Dawn, very good. And we're going to somebody's party? Sarah's. Sarah, yes, our friend. Very good. Let's look at the questions. Very good. So, Dawn bought the picture by a famous painter. Very good. Do you remember his name? Uh, David? No. Something like that. Yeah, Whatever. very good. Yes. Uh, she paid 80 British pounds. How for, do you no, know? No, she, she bought, actually, I, I think she paid 800 for that. No? Well, the original price was one thousand. Yes. And then she, but the shop was offering a sale on everything, twenty percent sale. So she paid eight hundred British pounds. Very. The price without within your limits. All uh, right, the budget. Yeah, the budget, within the yeah. budget. Very good. What about the colors? The colors of the painting are pale, and they match uh, those paintings which are already in Sarah's apartment and the colors of her room as well. Yes, very good. What about the party? It's next week yes. and it's uh, Saturday. Very good. All right. At the weekend. At the weekend. At the weekend. Uh, very good. What about um, extra question, bonus question, just for you? 
Uh, there was something that my friend mentioned that she would like me to buy. What was it? It was a birthday card. Birthday card. Very good. British people are so traditional. Even now in the 21st century, they still appreciate having the handwritten, hand-signed uh, birthday cards. Do you do it in your family, with your friends? Do you exchange birthday cards? Uh, no. Good. We are not as traditional as British people. Very good. All right. The Brits are very traditional. Very good. Let's check if you were right. Yes. Very good. What about your apartment? Would, would pale colors or bright colors dominate in it? We have paintings in bright colors in our apartment. Good. And who makes the choice of uh, the, the art that you have in your house? Well, we're not choosing it deliberately. It's just life that, you know, provides us with different paintings and then we choose which one to put on the walls uh, of our apartment. Excellent. We'll come back to it. Very good. And now you are going to see three pictures and you will have to guess the picture that was finally bought for Sarah. Very good. Hmm. hmm. Well, I would go for the one in the middle. All right. Why? Because it's the only one that has only pale colors in it. The right, the picture on the right has red, which is bright. Good. And the picture on the left uh, is truly bright. Truly bright. Good. If you were choosing uh, the painting for your apartment, one of your rooms, which one would you go for? Uh, either the one on the right mm -hmm. or the one on the left. Definitely not the one in the middle. Very good. What attracts you in these pictures? Uh, the balance of colors and uh, a more, I would say, chaotic structure of, of the painting itself. Very good. What style can we say this is? This is clearly contemporary. Yes, contemporary art. Very good. Are you a fan of contemporary art? Yes. Very good. And what was the latest picture or piece of art that you've bought? Well, as I said, uh, we usually uh, receive uh, art as uh, gifts, uh, pieces of art as gifts. So currently we have uh, contemporary art paintings uh, in our apartment and all of them were given to us by artists themselves as gifts. Excellent. What, what is the latest one that has become your member of family? The latest one is by a Ukrainian contemporary artist, Oleksiy Sai. He has a very special technique. He uh, creates art online, so it's basically digital art. And Good, then so he, it's digital art. Yes, and then he prints it on uh, on surface. So it what looks surface like a, does he use? Actually, it's aluminium. It's uh, it's uh, hard surface, and uh, but it looks like a real painting. So it's very very special, and uh, he has his own style and his own technique that he works with. Very good. What is the traditional type of, what do we usually see the paintings on? Uh, you see uh, different shapes, yes. figures, uh, traditional, uh, as you rightly put on, the, on yeah. the wall, traditional paintings are made on canvas. Yes. But uh, now contemporary art explores other surfaces which can be used for art. Very good. So canvas is probably the most ancient, the most traditional one. Yeah. Then nowadays we as well have them on wood. On wood, yes. on bricks, uh, yes. on concrete, yes. on pieces of steel. Anything can be a surface, can serve as surface for the art. Yes, very good. Thank you very much. Right, we spoke with you about various types of pictures. The landscapes, the seascape, the battle, uh, battle piece. Battle piece, very good. The steel art. Right. Still life. Yes, yeah, still life yeah. art. Very good. Um, if you look at me, because we sometimes say that you can see what the person likes, what style the person likes or has in his or her apartment, what do you think is my favorite piece of art in my apartment? Still life. How do you know? Uh, it's just a guess. Very good. I'm not a big fan of still life. However, I have a great portrait, which is digital art mixed with a photography, and it's all 
printed on the piece of wood. Oh. I now regret I haven't put it into my presentation because I really, really you like should. it. You should have a couple of pictures on the wall and make your students guess which one is your favorite. All right, thank you. Um, I'm creating a few more lessons, which I will definitely include it into there. Very good. You told me about the paintings, but we haven't discussed any other types of art that you have in your living space. What is it? Well, since it's a living space, you, you mainly focus on paintings, but we also have some beautiful pieces of uh, uh, tape, uh, of, uh, how to put it, uh, plates. Uh, handmade uh, craft uh, plates. Mm -hmm. One of them is uh, made by a Crimean Tatar uh, artist who restored uh, the old technique of uh, Crimean Tatar uh, uh, ornaments. Can we say that it's a pottery? It's a pottery in the form of a plate. Very good. Yeah. So I would put the uh, word pottery, pottery for all of our yes. students. Yeah. Pottery, yeah. yes, very good. Pottery, and what is usually pottery made of? Uh, it's uh, clay. Yeah, it's made of clay. I will put it for everyone, for all the students. Very good. Right, and uh, is it on your table? Is it on the wall? It's on the table. It's on the table. Very good. Have you got any sculptures? Uh, no. No, very good. What about your children? Are they creative? Are they producing something that you have on display in your apartment? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, paintings drawn by our daughter who is eight years old in her apartment. She drew those, uh, that painting when she was maybe six uh, or even five. So it's pretty uh, naive art, uh, if I may put it this way. But uh, we think it's good for her to remember uh, her own masterpieces. So we framed it and put it on the wall in her room. Very good. I really like the phrase, to be framed, to be framed. Very good. And how do you choose which pieces of art produced by your kids are to be framed or not to be framed? It's a family decision. All right. Very good. To be framed. Okay, I'll put it nicely. To be framed. Very good. And what's your personal choice when you, uh, if you are choosing the piece of art for your friend, would you like the picture to be framed or do you let the owner to decide whether to frame it or to leave it unframed? I let the owner to decide because uh, first many friends, uh, many of my friends prefer to leave paintings unframed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but if they decide to frame it, then they should definitely have a choice and choose the frame itself themselves because there are plenty, there is a variety of choice and you cannot guess exactly which taste uh, your friend has. Thank you very much. Metro, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Tremendously. Very good. I hope you will go back home now, looking at the art around you, because art is definitely everything that surrounds us. You will have a, a look again at your pieces of art at home, right? And maybe think of the, yes, any art ideas that you can produce yourself. With pleasure, and moreover, I strongly recommend uh, following your lessons and watching every new episode. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Metro, and thank you everyone for watching. Come back to the next lesson, please. Чудове відчуття, і відверто скажу, двічі за урок переживав те саме хвилювання, яке відчувають учні, коли тебе є вчителька поставила запитання, а в тебе немає негайної відповіді, і мозок починає шалено працювати в пошуку цієї відповіді, але, мені здається, я іспит склав і двічі швидко знайшов у голові правильну відповідь на запитання. А також, оскільки вчив я англійську мову, я особливо хочу відзначити, що вчителька говорила без акценту, і таким чином діти чули таку справжню англійську вимову. Це дуже важливо. Я завжди дуже багато уваги приділяв іноземним мовам. Не завжди мені це подобалося, тому що іноді хотілося все кинути і піти пограти в футбол. Але це та інвестиція, яка потім щедро відплачує. І я всіх закликаю вчити іноземні мови, тому що іноземна мова – це ваше особисте вікно у великий світ можливостей.